And I think we're going to go ahead and start. So if you do have a block, or if you don't have a block, you can use a cushion. But if you have a block or a cushion, let's go ahead and start today with that. We'll just take that block, go ahead and place it behind us and sit on that just to start in an easy pose, which I like to do when we do gentle yoga. And uh, this way, we allow our knees to come down and take some of the pressure off of the knees. And we'll start out by focusing on our breath centering. Let's begin by breathing, just breathing in from the belly, up through the chest and collarbone region, maybe sip in a little bit more air, and then exhale through your nose. Let's do that again, hearing that breath in the back of our throat, breathing in from the belly, up through the chest and collarbone, and then make your exhale nice and long through your nose. Working the lungs. Nice. Let's do that again. Maybe you take your gaze to the floor. Maybe you even close your eyes here, breathing in deeply. Sipping in a little more. And then try to make that exhale as long as you can. Empty, empty the lungs fully. Let's continue that. Breathing in fresh new air. And then exhaling the used stale air, getting rid of all of it. Hopefully as you're breathing, you notice something else. You notice that you start to relax, unwind a little bit. So nice, all the benefits with the breath that we have. As we're breathing, let's set an intention for today's uh, class. It can be anything you like. It can be just a word, joy, gratitude, just a, a, a word that brings a lot of positivity to your mind. Perhaps it's a goal that you have. Perhaps you want to dedicate your practice to someone that you love. And we just do this because it's very easy during this hour or any practice that you have to start to think about your grocery list or what you need to do next or what you have going on tomorrow. And this way, it doesn't interrupt your practice, your time. So just anytime your mind starts to wander, which we all do it, perfectly normal, just draw your focus back to your breath first. Maybe thinking of the words inhale, exhale, and then if you need something a little more, you're a little distracted, just go to your intention. So let's take another breath. Breathing in deeply from the belly. Sipping in a little more. And completely emptying the lungs. Good. While we're on our block, let's do a few stretches and move the body. Let's take our shoulders, reach them up towards our ears, get them as high towards the ears as you can, and then just roll them back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, even tighter squeeze, and then squeeze the belly button. And then on your next breath, we're going to sweep the arms up towards the ceiling, spread the fingers as wide as you can, straight arms, maybe they touch the ears or come close to the ears. Holding this, this alone is a deep stretch. And then we're going to relax just a little bit. Maybe you put a little bend in the arms and we're just going to sway side to side. Breathing in. Exhaling out. Just gentle sway since we're on our block. Breathing in. Exhaling out. Let's do one more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, and then we'll just let our hands float down to our knees and roll out the shoulders. Breathing in, exhaling out, you can reverse those rolls and just kind of slow it down to fit your breath. Breathing in, exhaling out. If you are sitting on a cushion or a block, you can go ahead and lean forward just a little bit. 
We'll go ahead and come off that block, giving our knees a chance to reposition and get a stretch in itself in our easy pose. And we're going to just take our shoulders once again, reach them up towards our ears, roll the neck, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and let's do some deeper stretches. So on your next breath, let's sweep the arms up towards the ceiling, spread the fingers nice and wide. And we're going to take a deep fold to the right. So on your next breath, stretch all the way to the right. Try to keep the sit bones down, flat on the mat. Maybe the elbow is bent on the right arm. And then inhale, reach up towards the ceiling, spread the fingers. Exhale, take it to the left. Let's do two more just like that. Inhale, stretch the arms up, good. And then exhale, take it to the right. And then inhale, reach up, spread the fingers, fill it in the hands. Exhale, to the left. One more on each side. Inhale, reach, squeeze the arms in towards the ears. Exhale, take it to the right. Inhale, reach, exhale, to the left. For good measure, let's take one more, reach up towards the ceiling, spread the fingers, lay them out, spark the fingers, and then we're just gonna relax the arms, bring them down to the knees, and roll out the shoulders again. With our neck breath, maybe we slow it down, and be sure to reverse them the other direction. And on our next breath, let's go ahead and press the hands forward as though we're touching that wall in front of us, stretching the arms, feeling a little bit of a stretch on the backs of the arms, really working that muscle, the tricep muscle, squeeze the belly button in. Let's take care of the fingers. We use those a lot. We use our hands so much. So let's dial the hand down on the right side with the left hand. Give a little pull to each finger, just a light little tug. And when you get to the thumb, just reach around, pull the thumb towards the forearm very gently. And then we're going to stretch the hands out in front of us. Shoulders are going to come forward, back's going to round just a little bit. And on the next breath, we're going to just come down with the fingers on the left. Take the right hand, give a little tug to each finger. Maybe it pops a little bit. And then when you get to the thumb, just reach around and pull that thumb towards the forearm. And then one more stretch. Just reach the hands out, stretch as though you truly are pressing on the wall so you feel it in the wrists. And let's make a ball with the hands and just rotate the wrist. Really nice in your forearms. And then once again, let's take our hands to our knees and roll out our shoulders. Reversing those rolls as we go. And then on our next breath, let's take our hands, place them on our waist, and we're going to round the back. Draw the elbows towards that front wall. Just take your gaze towards the floor so you don't strain your neck. And then on your exhale, draw the elbows. Try to get them as far back behind you, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Squeeze the belly in towards the spine. Inhale towards the front. Elbows towards the front, maybe even the floor. Exhale, elbows go towards that back wall. Let's do one more. Inhale, elbows come towards the front, round the spine. Exhale, draw the elbows towards the back wall. We're going to work our way down the body. So let's go ahead and separate the legs just a little bit. We're going to rock the baby and we're going to grab our uh, right shin and just move slightly, maybe you rock side to side. And you know, this is um, something that sometimes isn't real comfortable to do. Uh, you can always hold the leg out if you need to, flex the foot a little bit. If you can get it in close to the crook of your arm, even better, try to sit up nice and tall. And just with your breath, move those joints in the hip. And then on your next breath, we're gonna very gently 
turn that leg and go to the left side. And it's always interesting to notice how different the sides of the body are. You might be more flexible on one side. One knee may give you a little more aggravation. Maybe, maybe not. Everything is different. Make sure you hear your breath. The breath will really assist you. And then on our next breath, let's come straight to a bound angle. Butterfly pose, just holding on to the ankle, sitting up nice and tall. This is good for your posture. And we're imagining that that little string is holding our head, the crown of the head up from the ceiling. And we can move the butterfly wings just a little bit here. Hear your breath, breathe in. Exhale out. Good, emptying the lungs. And then on your next breath, let's bring the knees together. We're gonna bring the feet out in front of us. If you do have your block or your uh, cushion that you used earlier handy, just grab hold of it and just for now, place it in your lap. We're gonna press our palms together, sit up nice and tall, and we're gonna work on our feet, which will also help the calf muscles. So with our breath, we're gonna point our toes as firmly as we can towards that front wall. Fill it in the calf muscles, and then exhale, draw the toes towards your body. Ooh, we might really feel this in the calf muscles or the shins as well. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, draw the toes towards your forehead. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, draw them towards the forehead. Let's do one more. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, draw the toes towards the forehead. And then we're going to do a little bit of work. We're going to take our block and just hold on to it. Maybe you have it on level uh, two. This is level one, level two, level three. So let's have it on level two. And we're going to bend the knees just a little bit, keep the heels on the floor and sit back. So it's almost going to be like a boat pose. And it's almost going to be as though we're in the gym on equipment. And we've done this one before. So we're going to lift up the heels and then bring our block to the right. Inhale, take it to the left. Try to stay with your breath. Inhale, to the right. Exhale, to the left. Slow it down if you need. Inhale, to the right. Exhale, to the left. Let's do one more. Inhale, to the right. Exhale, to the left. Let's go ahead and lower the feet. You can place your block to the side. We'll put it up towards the top of our mat because we may use it later. And take your hands, just bring them back behind you. Fingertips facing the back wall and just wiggle out your legs. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Breathing in, exhaling out. And then sit up nice and tall, squeeze the shoulders back, squeeze the belly button. We're going to just bend that right knee, pick up the, the foot and place the foot on the outside of the left knee reach. And, and squeeze the fingers apart, reach out the left hand, wrap it around, right hand comes behind us. Try to look over your shoulder. So important to get these bends in to see behind us. Breathing in, exhaling out, good, one more breath here, and then we'll release this and take it to the other side, we'll set that same thing up with the left leg, bending this time, right arm comes around, wraps around, left hand comes back behind, we see that back wall, I said one time to maybe this class, I can't remember. Uh, we want to always be able to see behind us if we're driving. And the student said, well, that may be, but my car has a camera in it, so I really don't have to do that. And I said, well, maybe not in your car, but when you're walking or if you're in the grocery store, you don't have that camera. So we want to still be able to see behind us. So important to work those muscles. And we're going to release this, and let's once again just take our hands, reach them back behind, 
fingertips towards the back wall. We'll go ahead and wiggle out a little bit. Just move those knees and legs up and down. And then on our next breath, we're gonna bend the knees, take our hands, press them into the mat and make our way onto, a, um, onto our tabletop. Now, this is a spot where if you're new to this class, we stay here sometimes for a while. So you might wanna get your uh, knee pad if you have one, a blanket works great. If you don't have those things, you can always just take your mat, fold it over and voila, you have an instant built-in knee pad. So coming to our tabletop, let's just begin to move the spine here, bringing the left hip all the way to the left wall and then reaching the hips around to the right wall, almost as though we are stirring a pot with our uh, waist. We have a mixing bowl right below us and a wooden spoon attached to our waist that we're just stirring, uh, stirring the pot. And your gaze can just go right between your hands. Check your hands while you're at it. Make sure that your fingers are firmly placed into the mat with little indentations. That will protect your wrists. And then let's do a little more stretching of our calf muscles. Let's sweep back the right foot. Tuck the toe, draw the heel into the floor. Sometimes we go into a side plank. We're going to skip that today. And then we're going to draw the knee back and continue to move side to side, maybe making those circles. The next breath, let's take our left foot, reach it back, uh, tuck the toes into the mat, and then just draw the heel good towards the uh, floor. Feel that stretch in the uh, calf muscle, a little more intense than what we were doing earlier. And then just come right back to it and continue with your circles. Breathing in, exhaling out. On your next breath, we're going to do something very familiar. We do this a lot in here. We're going to do a little baby balance. We're going to reach out the right hand, reach back the left foot, and we're going to stay right here. If you do want more, you can reach back behind, grab that foot, the left foot, reach it up towards the ceiling, making a little diamond shape. Take your gaze to the floor if you're in this particular pose and just hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Make sure you breathe when I'm counting. And then you're going to release that hand if you did do that second step. Take your hand, place it over your heart or your shoulder, flatten the foot, and let's lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to change it up. We're going to reach the right hand out as though we're shaking someone's hand. We're going to straighten the left leg, toes facing the floor, and we're going to lift each limb for five, the leg and the arm. So lifting up towards the ceiling, five, four, three, two, one, let's come into our table and take some deep hip circles. You might have felt that in the low back, maybe even the hamstrings. Try to go around about three times with your breath and then reverse your circles the other direction. Check on your breath. Do you still hear it in the back of your throat? Breathing in as though you're surprised to see someone. Breathing out as though you're fogging up a hand mirror with your nostrils. Good. And then we'll meet up in our neutral table and we'll do the left side. Okay, let's go ahead and reach out that left hand. Spread the fingers wide while you're there. Reach back the right foot, toes towards the floor. You can stay right here. Or if you want a little bit more, reach back behind, pull that foot up towards the ceiling, create that diamond, gaze to the floor, let's hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Then we're going to take the left arm, take the hand and put it either on your heart, maybe your shoulder, flatten that foot, and let's work our glutes for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one. We're almost done. We're gonna reach the left hand out again, splay the fingers, and then reach the foot back behind us. And for five, we're gonna lift the arm in the leg, balance going on, three going on, five, four, three, two, one, and then come back to our table. Let's take some cat cows here. Breathing in for cow. Exhale for cat. Slow with your breath. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Chin to your chest. And let's do one more. Breathing in for cow. Exhale for cat. Lovely. On your next breath, we're going to go into some of our warrior work. So we're going to tuck the toes, lift the knees, and just stay right here. Press the fingertips into the mat, staying for just a moment. And then we're going to bring our hips up towards the ceiling into our first down dog of the morning. Let your gaze just go to that back wall. And we'll just pedal out here, bending, maybe the right knee, pressing the left heel down to the mat. A little more work in the calf muscles. Just warming up those muscles. Good. And then on our next breath, we're gonna raise the right leg. So we're just gonna raise the leg, reach it up high, let's rotate the ankle while we have it up there. Working on arm strength, this is so good for our core as well. And then next breath, we're going to just bend that knee, draw it through, come into a warrior one on the right side. Check your back foot, make sure that it's, it's already planted in at about 11 o'clock. Spread the fingers nice and wide, maybe you look at the ceiling, bend through the knee. Good. Holding this a little longer. Staying. Think of your intention. We're going a little slower today. And the next breath will come into our warrior two. Opening up that chest, stacking the shoulders over the hips, gazing through your fingers. Holding this. Good. Next breath, let's go ahead and take a side angle. Try to see your left thumb. Let's make a fist here. Rotate the wrist. Staying a little longer today. And then spread the fingers wide again. Let's take it to a side angle that's extended. So if the arm's gonna come out in front, we can even reach both arms out as though we're holding a beach ball. Open up through the chest, in through the knee a little deeper. Let's try to hold this. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's rotate the waist, press down, and come back to down dog, but we're not gonna stay in down dog. We're going to drop the knees wide outside the mat, bring the big toes to touch, sink the hips back, and we're in a child's pose. Let's reach the hands towards the top of the mat. Try to bring the forearms down. Maybe the forehead can even go into the mat. And just roll your forehead side to side. Breathing in. Exhaling out. And then we're going to straighten the arms, bring the hands just a little closer, maybe a hand's distance closer. And we're going to thread the needle here. We're going to reach the right arm up towards the ceiling and then thread it underneath the left. Palm on the right hand is going to come down maybe to the floor. And the left palm is reaching towards the top of the mat. And you can stay right here, or you can take that left hand and just reach it back behind you, opening up the chest wherever you are. Let's hold this as we breathe for five, four, three, two, one. An intense stretch, good. And then let's release it and come back with our hands towards the top of the mat. If your shoulders are bothering you today, you can bring them just briefly back by your sides and maybe rest in here into the mat. You can make a fist, rotate the wrist. Lots of nice things you can do here. Let's catch up with our breath. Breathing in. Exhaling out. 
And then we're going to thread the needle on the other side. So let's straighten the arms. We lift up the chest just a little bit. We reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. Thread it underneath the right. And the same thing, you can stay right here. Or you can take that right palm, reach it behind your back, and open the chest up to the side wall for a little deeper stretch. Holding this five, four, three, two, one, and then release back to our neutral child's pose. If you want to draw the arms back behind you again, if your shoulders are a little tight or just stay right here, we're just going to stay here for another breath. And then the next breath, we're going to slide the right hand towards the body, slide the left hand towards the body, coming back into our table where we won't be staying. We're going to come back into down dog. So we're going to tuck the toes, lift the knees. Maybe we hesitate here for just a minute, not a full minute, just a second, just a bit. <laughs> and then we'll reach our hips up towards the ceiling, gaze towards the back wall. Check your fingertips, make sure they're uh, protecting your wrist by being planted into the mat. And you might want to pedal out here if you did that on the other side when we did the right side. And then on your next breath, let's go ahead and raise the left leg. Reach it up nice and high. Maybe you rotate the ankle while it's up there. And you're going to be coming into warrior one. I'm going to turn around just so you see a little bit better. Check your back foot. Make sure it's planted into the mat at about 3 o'clock. Maybe you gaze at the ceiling, holding this, holding it a little bit longer than we're used to doing. Breathing. Good. And then on your next breath, we're going to come into warrior two. Check that your shoulders are right over the hips, gazing through your fingers, holding it, staying, thinking of your breath or your intention as we hold this. And then next breath, we're going to take it to a side angle. Try to see your thumb, holding this. Try not to dump into placing your weight into your knee. Just maybe you can even pick the arm up, the left arm up. And then next breath, we're going to take it to an extended side angle where we reach in front of us, maybe holding that beach ball, holding it. Five, four, three, two, one. Rotate the waist. Press down, and let's go ahead and send the leg back and come into a plank pose. Now, plank is a difficult thing. You might want to drop the knee here. It can be intense. Plank, we're just lowering our hips. We're rocking the forward a little bit on our toes so that the shoulders are right above the wrists. And we're just going to hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and then we're going to squeeze the arms so that the elbows come in towards the ribs and lower down. Maybe you drop a knee and you just lower down onto your belly. Good. And then maybe you just press the right ear into the mat, relax the shoulders. Heart rate might be up. We're going to let it come down in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and bend our knees and just windshield wipe them side to side. Carrying your breath, breathing in. Exhaling out through your nose. Carrying that breath that sounds like the ocean in the back of your throat. We're going to go ahead and lower the feet here. And on our next breath, we're going to do a locust pose. We're going to lift the hands up towards our shoulders, lift everything else off the mat except for our belly. So let's try that. Let's go ahead and lift everything up, try to get the chest up high, gaze towards the floor, bring the chin in towards the chest so we don't strain the neck. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and lower everything down. Press the opposite ear into the mat. I'm going to turn this way just the way normally. 
and just press this time the left ear into the mat. Bend the knees if you like. Maybe you rotate the ankles here, or you can windshield wipe side to side. A little bit of a counter pose in between some of the tougher movements that we're doing. And then on your next breath, let's go ahead and lower the feet back to the mat. And we're going to do another form of locust. It's Superman pose, we call it, um, where you're just going to reach the arms out in front of you. Same thing, try to get the chest off the mat, everything but the belly button. When you're ready, let's lift everything up, reach through the wall in front of you, flying through the sky, holding it. Five, four, three, two, one, good. And let's go ahead and lower everything down, bend the knees, swish them side to side. Maybe your right ear is pressed on the mat this time. Hearing that breath. And the next breath, let's keep the knees bent. Let's flex the toes towards the back wall. And then draw the toes up towards the ceiling. You might feel this in the calf muscles. Inhale, toes go towards the back wall. Exhale, toes go towards the ceiling. Let's keep the toes towards the ceiling. And with our right hand, let's try to reach back and see if we can find our toes, just the toes. And if you find the toes, try to draw the foot, maybe the heel into the buttocks area, the glutes. Give yourself a stretch. Don't get frustrated if you can't quite get it there. Um, perhaps you're really flexible and you can even take it deeper to the outside edges of your hips. Everybody is different there. And then on your next breath, let's take the left hand, grab the toes and just pull that left foot towards the body. See how far it comes. Maybe it reaches the body, maybe it doesn't. I say this all the time, the nice thing about yoga, the many nice things is you can do it the rest of your life. It's a journey. Some days may be real flexible, other days may not be as flexible. And it's not a competitive sport. So that's the greatest thing. So holding the stretch, and then for fun, let's go ahead and slide the hands down to the ankles. We'll do a floor bow. So we'll flatten the feet as though you're um, able to walk on the ceiling. And we're going to lift everything up off the mat except for our belly. So when you're ready, lift up, try to get the chest nice and high. Squeeze everything together and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, release. Let's bring our hands right above the shoulders and maybe we swish the legs side to side. Maybe you rotate the ankles. Might hear a little popping. Perfectly normal and natural. And then on your next breath, let's slowly lower the feet back down to the mat. And think about where your hands are. We're going to slide the hands forward so that the elbows are going to come in place of the hands. So slide the elbows forward and we're in Sphinx pose. Draw the chin to the chest. You're going to feel a nice arch in the back. If you come to yin yoga on Sunday evenings, we do this pose a lot of times. It just has so many benefits. I'm just going to hold it. Stay for another breath here, breathing in, exhaling out. You're going to feel a nice stretch in that curve of the low back. And then on your next breath, we're going to lower the chest back down. As we do, we slide the hands back to the right above where the shoulders are. And then press the fingertips into the mat. We're just going to press the body up, come up onto our knees, and make our way back into a tabletop. While we're in table, let's go ahead and take a cat cow. Breathing in for cow. Exhale for cat. Let's do one more and maybe we exaggerate the cat since we just did that Sphinx pose. So breathing in for cow and then really exaggerate the spine in cat. Coming back to the neutral, let's tuck the toes. 
lift the knees, just staying for a bit. And the next breath, we're gonna come right into our, once again, our down dog. Take your gaze, twist that back long. Deep breath in. Even deeper, exhale out. And then look to the top of your mat where your hands are. We're gonna walk our feet to our hands. So just walk the feet up to the hands. You're at the very top of your mat, and we're just gonna turn this into a rag doll. We're just gonna let the arms dangle. Maybe we move side to side here. Maybe we interlace at the elbows and shake our head yes. Shake the head no. Maybe we even interlace the hands, bring them to the back of the skull, give ourselves a little massage. And then on your next breath, just let the arms dangle. And we're slowly going to rise. One vertebra at a time, slowly, slowly coming up. The head's gonna be the very last thing to come up. And then we're gonna do some of our work. So once we're here, we're gonna bring our feet about hip distance and turn on the body. So let's go ahead and sweep the arms up towards the ceiling, spread the fingers wide, let's squeeze the face, squeeze the arms, squeeze the belly button in towards the spine, lift the kneecaps, which make the thighs turn on, lift all 10 toes, that turns on the calf muscles, get the ears, I hear the arms a little closer to the ears, good. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Keep squeezing, keep breathing. And then exhale, let's take it to Tadasana. Let's relax here for just a moment. We'll take our shoulders, reach them up towards our ears, roll the neck, squeeze the shoulder blades together, squeeze the belly button in towards the spine. Let's spread the fingers wide. Let's turn it on again, squeeze the face. Squeeze the arms so much that you can feel the triceps, the backs of the arms. Squeeze the belly button in. Squeeze the shoulders back towards the wall. Lift the kneecaps. Lift all 10 toes. Think of this as a posture, almost this mili like military, a military posture. Holding it, squeezing it. Maybe the body's shaking a little bit. Maybe the forearms feel a little bit of tension. Keep breathing, keep squeezing. Good, stay for another breath. And release, ah, you should feel really nice now. We just worked the metabolism and we got the uh, blood circulation, so, so, circulating, so many different things. We're gonna do a little bit of balance, just a light little bit of balance. If you wanna go over to a wall, or if you wanna challenge yourself and stay on a mat, um, we'll just do, we're just gonna do an eagle pose today. So we're gonna take all of our weight onto the left side of the body, just rock all the way over. Let's take our hands, place them for now on our waist, they won't stay there, and then we're gonna lift the right leg and just wrap it around the left. Bend through the knees. Then bring your hands to heart center. This is half eagle. Maybe you stay right here and hold it. This is sometimes harder than full eagle. And then if you were to take full eagle, we'll reach the hands out like we're holding a plaque. Lift, lift the right hand up. And I'm gonna use a kickstand while I'm showing this. Um, lift the right hand up and make a big X. Hold that X for just a moment. And then wrap the arms around each other. Lift up through the elbows with your fingertips, trying to touch the ceiling. Squeeze the belly button in. Hold this. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's release this. And just for good measure, let's bring our feet apart about hip distance. Sweep the arms up towards the ceiling, spread the fingers nice and wide. We won't turn it on. And exhale into Tadasana. Good. And then let's bring all of our weight over to the right side. Hands go on our waist. And let's lift that uh, left foot, wrap it around. Might be easier on this side for you. And then bend through the knees. Press the hands together, straighten the hips, 
just half eagle. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you try full eagle. Hold out your platter. Lift the left hand. Make that net. And then wrap the arms all together. If you need to put down your foot for a kickstand, take advantage of that. And then lift the elbows up towards the ceiling. Try to squeeze everything tight. Maybe bend down more for the knees. Good. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Let's just shake everything out. Just give everything a good shake. Good. And if you did move off your mat, let's come back to the top of our mat so we can get back down to the mat. We'll bring our feet about hip distance once again. Get our nice posture up. Let's just for good measure reach our shoulders up. Roll the neck, squeeze the shoulder blades together, suck in the belly towards the spine, and then sweep the arms up towards the ears. Reach, 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 spread the fingers, lift the toes. Hold this. And then exhale, take a fold. Let everything just go. Take your fingers and just let them hang. Maybe they touch your mat. Gaze is between the feet. And then inhale, flat back, halfway lift. So flat that the back could hold something and it wouldn't fall off. And the next breath, let's take another fold. And let's all shake our head, yes. Shake our head, no. Just let it go. Shake everything out. And the next breath, let's come into a chair pose. Sinking the hips down as though you're going to sit in a chair. Let's go ahead and cactus the arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together, nice and squeeze together. Option to stay right here or option to come up onto the tippy toes, gaze to the floor, sink even lower, try to hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, take a fold. Your breath here. Maybe you rock side to side. Another nice thing to do is to lift the right toes, lower them, lift the left toes, lower them. Next breath, let's come to a flat back, halfway lift. Take your gaze to the floor. And then next breath, let's come onto our knees back for table where we're not going to stay. We're going to sink the hips back. Let's take care of the wrist just quickly and spread the fingers, reach them towards that front wall. Shoulders are coming out. Maybe even move them back and forth. Right hand comes closer to the wall in front. Left hand comes closer. And then make a fist, rotate your wrists. Good. Squeeze the belly button in. And the next breath, let's make our way onto our backs. As you're doing this, make sure that you have a block up towards the top of your mat, because we'll be using that. And any way you want to come down to your mat, if you want to come with straight legs, slowly with your hands next to you, or if you want to come down on one elbow, then the other. In any way that you want to get down to your mat. And let's meet up with our knees bent. And as we're here, let's grab our block. We're going to use the block for two different ways, two different things. We're going to first do a supported bridge. So we're going to take the block and we're going to have it on level one, which is this flat um, level right here. Once again, that's level two. This is level three. We're going to have it on the flat level. And we're just going to slide it underneath our hip area, the seat area. What you want to aim for is the sacrum, or the, uh, the tailbone, that region, and just place it right at that spot. And then squeeze the shoulder blades underneath you. And the nice thing about this, this is called supported bridge, and we really don't have to do much for it. We just hold this. And it has a lot of benefits, especially after we do poses like uh, the Sphinx pose we did on our belly, sometimes a seal pose, which we do in the end. This is just a nice little counter pose. So reconnect with your breath if you've lost it. Breathing in, filling the lungs. Exhaling all that stellar air out. Good. 
And then we're going to remove the block, just slide it out from under, and take the block and place it just like this, which is level two. And you're going to put it between your thighs, up towards the knee area, so we can squeeze on it. And we're going to do a traditional bridge. So with your next breath, squeeze the shoulder blades underneath you. Maybe you even take the hands and grasp them underneath the hips. And we're going to lift the hips up towards the ceiling. And we're going to squeeze that block. So we're going to squeeze in. And you're going to feel it in your hips, even your glutes. Exhale, relax a little bit, but the block is still there. Inhale, squeeze the block. Exhale, relax the hips. Let's do one more. Inhale, squeeze the block as hard as you can. This is the last one. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then relax. Exhale, come on down. Let the hips come back to the mat. And you can take the block and just put it out of your way. We're finished with it for now. On your next breath, go ahead and clasp both knees into your chest. Just pull it in. This is a great place to rotate the ankles. Enjoying this nice stretch. Maybe you can close your eyes for a bit. And the next breath, let's turn this into happy baby. Let's bring the feet up towards the ceiling, grab the outside edges, and we're gonna to try to bring the knees as wide as we can. Maybe you even take them wider. Just pull the feet apart, get them as wide as you can so you're really getting a benefit of a deep stretch. If you want to rock a little bit in this position, that's perfectly fine, or you can stay still either way. Hear that breath, breathing in, exhaling out. Stay for another breath here. Inhale. Exhale. And then let's bring the knees together. Let's take the hands, bring them right behind the knees, and we're going to take a little rock. We're just going to rock forward, rock backward, rock forward, coming right back up into our easy pose, just so we can take care of our necks. So sitting up nice and tall, meeting back in that easy pose. Let's take our shoulders, reach them up towards our ears, roll them back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And we're gonna raise like a cactus, just the right hand. Reach it over our head, find that left ear, and maybe you close your eyes here and draw that right ear towards the right shoulder. Such a good stretch. Squeeze the belly button in towards the spine. Let go of all the tension from the week, all the noise. And then take that hand, the right hand, and just draw it down to the back of the skull, maybe the neck, and squeeze with your fingers. Give yourself a little massage. And the next breath, just draw your nose towards your armpit. Squeeze the belly button in. You might feel a nice stretch up across the left side of your neck. Maybe the shoulder blade on that side, the spine. And then release that. Next breath, we're going to go right to it. We're going to cactus the left hand. Spread the fingers wide. Squeeze the belly button in. Sweep the arm over the head. Find the right ear. And just draw the left ear towards the left shoulder. Maybe close the eyes. Squeeze the belly button in towards the spine. And then slide that hand down to the back of the skull. Squeeze the neck, maybe the back of the skull. So nice, the eyes are closed. And then we're going to draw the nose to the left armpit. Squeeze the belly button in. Feel your breath as your chest rises and falls. And you might feel a sensation on the right side of your shoulder, maybe spine. And then let's release that. Once again, we're going to come to our back. So we're just going to bring the knees together, take the hands, place them behind us. And this time, let's all come down on our elbows. Just 
Come down on the right elbow, come down on the left elbow. Maybe we let the head just relax and look to that back wall, spread the feet apart. This is fish pose. And just hold this for a bit. And then come fully down to your back. Once here, let's slide the feet in towards the body, bend the knees, and we're gonna just bring the knees to hover right over the hips. So we can set up a supine twist. Let's spread the arms out wide. You can make them into a T or perhaps cactus them, depending on your shoulders. Let's take a deep breath in here. Lion's breath out. <sighs> Let it go through your mouth. Don't worry if you are a little loud with it. Another deep breath in. And then on the exhale, let the knees fall to the right. Take your gaze over that opposite shoulder on the left. Shoulders are glued to the mat. If you want to extend the outside leg, the left leg over the right. That's an option. Feel that stretch across the left side of the body. You should enjoy your breath. And then releasing that, let's come back to our neutral position. While we're here, let's just rotate the ankles, make little circles, and then reverse those circles. And take another deep breath in. Lion's breath out, let's go straight to it. Let those knees fall to the left side. Take your gaze over your right shoulder. Option two. Send that right leg over the left bent leg. Shoulders are on the mat. Feeling that stretch on the right side of the body this time. Stay for another breath. Breath travels up the spine. Breath travels down the spine. And on our next breath, let's come back to neutral. Let's take our hands and clasp the knees once again and just send the knees towards the chest. Maybe you rock side to side here. If you didn't get enough of the ankle rolls, you can add that in. Hear that breath. And then on your next breath, let's go ahead and just press the feet into the mat. Let the palms just rest. Palms facing the ceiling. Let's squeeze the shoulder blades together while we're here. Getting the shoulders as close to the mat as we can. We're gonna knock the knees together. This is an, an easy stretch, but it's so good for you. And we're gonna heel to the feet as far as they will go towards the outside edge of your mat. They probably won't go off the mat. They might, but try to get them to the edge of their mat, of your mat. Knees are knocked together, so it's almost as though you've built a little tent with your body. Hear your breath. Try to hold this. We're going to stay for about two more breaths here. Feeling this in the outside parts of our hips. Maybe the glutes a little bit. Inhale again. And then empty the lungs completely. Take your time. And then we're going to heel toe the feet together. Once the feet meet and you, the toes, uh, the big toes uh, touch, we're going to just slide the right foot down the mat, slide the left foot down the mat. Feet are close together this time. And then just splay the feet on this as though they're plopped out like a fish. Squeeze the shoulder blades even tighter here. Close the eyes and just roll the head side to side. And as you're rolling the head, allow the tongue to come off the roof of the mouth. And then bring the head still. Soften. Relax the jaw. Maybe you move the jaw side to side. Think of your shoulders and just let them melt deeper into the mat all the way to the fingertips. Just melt into your mat. Allow the chest, the abdominal area, the hips 
to melt into your mat a little deeper. Think about your knees, your ankles, the tops of the feet, the bottoms of the feet. Allow them just to melt right into your mat. Enjoy Shavasana. Allow yourself to stay for about 12 breaths here. And I will sound the bell, so just allow yourself to relax without any worry. the sound of the bells, just slowly, gently begin to bring the body back by wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. Maybe you make a fist with each hand and rotate the wrists. Slow movements. Maybe you bend the knees, windshield wipe them side to side. Draw them into your chest. So you can rotate the ankles. Maybe you take another happy baby. Hearing your breath as you awaken the body. And then on your next breath, make your way to the right side of your body. Draw the knees into the chest as tightly as you can get them to go. Make a little pillow with your right arm. Maybe your eyes remain closed here. Hearing the breath. Starting a clean slate, new day. And then after about the second or third breath, if you're ready, just return back to a comfortable seated position. Pressing the sit bones into the mat. We're gonna take the shoulders once again, reach them up towards our ears, roll them back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, squeezing the belly button in, and then let's take the hands and just press them right outside our body. Let's flip the palms, and now we're gonna sweep the arms up towards the ceiling, reach them up, squeeze the fingertips apart, and then press the palms together. Let's bring the palms down to heart center. And we'll take care of our wrists here. We'll dial the fingertips down. Maybe you see, if your eyes are open, your veins, and try to bring the pinkies even closer, the pinky fingers, to your body. That's going to turn on the forearms. This is great for carpal tunnel, uh, tunnel syndrome with computers. It's great if you work with a cell phone, which I think we all do. And then rotate the fingers back up. Spread the fingers apart even more. And then let's separate the hands. Take one more final fold. So we'll just press the palms into the mat, maybe the floor, and walk the hands towards that front wall. Take your gaze in between your forearms, maybe your elbows. Just stretch out the low back. 
And then we're going to get out of this as slowly as we got there. We're just going to walk the hands back towards the body, sit up nice and tall, squeeze the shoulder blades together for our posture, and then we can place the hands back to heart center. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. It was wonderful seeing everybody. Namaste.